we should be live. What up, chat? What up, everybody? Let me uh, let me test this audio right quick. See what we're sounding like. Um, I think we might be good. Hold up. All right. Yeah, we're good. What up, chat? What up, everybody? This is Zom Slays, and uh, welcome to Music Mondays, if you don't know. This is my weekly talk show where we discuss everything from music to the underground scene to pretty much everything. Um, but yeah, hope you all had a good week. Hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, I had to switch categories uh, to just chatting. Um, if you noticed, uh, we're currently on a pause screen right now. Um, I can't switch games on my console and... Um, my Elgato isn't set up yet, so we're going to do another, uh, really chill, uh, talk stream. But, um, like I said, I hope y'all are well. This is episode 14. If you missed episode 13, that's, uh, live on YouTube. You can do exclamation point MM in the chat. And, um, yeah. We're going to get right into it. I wonder what that I wonder what that message was. Shout out uh Zidane. But um yeah, so like I said, we got a we got a few things to talk about today's chat and uh we're going to be having some fun. So anyways, um make sure you follow Music Mondays on all platforms. Make sure you um subscribe to my YouTube so you don't miss anything and you don't miss uh future episodes of Music Mondays. Um Every episode uh, goes live the following Friday after it's streamed live on Monday. And show is live 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday, unless uh, stated otherwise. Which I'll let you guys know in advance for sure. But, um, yeah, we have some, we have some interesting topics today. Just gonna wait for the chat to roll in. I'm just gonna wait for everybody to come through. And we'll get started. But yeah, um lots of good reviews today, lots of good music, lots of good everything. Keep it a buck. Got a lot of good stuff coming in. Um As for right now, I wanna discuss um a couple important topics, but we'll start off light with some casual banter of uh, something I saw happen on Twitter today, which just got me thinking, and I was like, oh, that's what I can talk about on Music Mondays. So, regardless, I don't know why my title didn't change. Unbelievable. There we go. Okay. So, before I get into this uh, conversation here, um, Let me give you some background information before I start uh, just firing off about this topic. Because um, I figured this would be sort of fun to um, start discussing. And we can really, really get some um, good thoughts on this. But, um, so... The topic I want to discuss is designers and designing, 
But, uh, yo, it's good business. I hope you're well. Um, this isn't for the people that, like, have ever gotten scammed in designing. This isn't for the people that have ever, like, uh, like, if you've ever been fucked over by a client in the design world or, like, uh, the commission world, um, this really isn't for you. Um, because that happens everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, you really can't fucking, you really can't prevent that. And, um, holy shit, bananas, did, 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 did you just fucking sub? Dude, what is wrong with my Twitch? My Twitch is bu bu bugging. Maybe it's just Twitch tonight. But yeah, so, regardless. Um, yes I did. You're a fucking king. Thank you, Bananas. Let's fucking go. You're the fucking boss. I don't know why nothing's showing up. And my uh, view count's really weird, too. Where the fuck is Nightbot at? There's Nightbot. Okay. Um, technical difficulties. So before we get into this topic, let's just hold that thought and figure out, uh, figure out the stream really quick. Since we have an extra few minutes. That might have fixed it. I don't know. But, uh, shout out you bananas. Um, we'll talk after, uh, after Music Mondays. But, um... Just to get right into it, um, if you've ever been, like, taken advantage of or anything like that, oh, there's the fucking Twitch Prime that literally just came up now. Shout out you fucking bananas, let's go. Currently on a one month, thank you for the two. Let's get it, baby. Um, so... Yeah, now my viewer count's fine. Um, so regardless, um, let's let's talk. Uh, I don't even know how to really like get into this, so I guess I'll just start off with what the fuck happened. Um, so there's an underground artist, pretty famous, not really famous. Um, you could say his name to your mom, and she won't know who he is, but you could say your name to, or his name to uh, your homie, and he might know. Who he is, um, an artist by the name of Brendan Savage is coming out with his last album before he retires from music. And Brennan put out a tweet today that said uh, he is asking his fans to um, make like album art or artwork of his album, like, like for his album, and he's gonna uh, do whatever with it. And, um, pretty much the whole, the whole, uh, deal and why this was an issue was the whole, uh, design scene, I guess, really didn't take kindly to that. They didn't take kindly to him doing the whole, like, oh, make me a cover and I'll pick the best one and commission you. Because usually when bigger artists do that sort of thing, people get underpaid, people get, like, just all that other shit, you know what I mean? Like, like they don't really get their bang for their buck, you know? Like, I can't really speak on specifics of the design world, but I can speak on the culture and the energy that the underground used to have. <clears throat> because we're not talking about fucking Rich the Kid here. We're not talking about fucking Chief Keef. We're not talking about, like... Any other, like, mainstream million play, million view artists. Like, Brendan Savage has been in the underground since Peep. Like, Brendan uh, started creating music when Peep was still around. And then really put the pedal to the metal after he passed away. And Brendan has been putting out nothing but straight fire for the underground. And has been working with a lot of really talented underground artists in... The guy isn't a mainstream artist. Like, he's not on the radio. He's not on a fucking label. He's not... Like, bro, he might have a distribution deal or some shit, but he's not fucking big. Like, so... When he asks his fans to commission... I don't, I don't even think about... Like, like, I don't even think he said commission. I can't even pull up the tweet because now it's gone. Because this is how badly 
uh, designers tried to roast him and make it something that it really wasn't. Because Brendan, like, like, he just wanted his fans to, like, get involved. Like, that's what you do as an artist. Like, he wants this album to be big. He wants this album to be good. He wants this album to be creative. And the way you can inv involve your fans the most is have them show off what they can do. Some of these fucking people out here that were complaining about Brennan, like, doing this had, like, 100 followers, 200 followers, this, that, and the third. Like, bro, at the end of the day, like, you could gain a lot more than you could lose if you fucking did that shit. And I saw all types of takes, right? Like, this one guy happened to, like, commission for, like, Billie Eilish and has designed for all these, um mainstream radio uh people no disrespect but that's just really what they are and the dude didn't even have 1k followers and he posted this picture i don't know if he wrote it or something like that but it was this long spiel along the lines of uh along the lines of of you know think of like louis and gucci and how they don't like undersell and like they don't do like fucking pieces for like famous people and all, like 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 all this other just horseshit it was just this horseshit and like it fucking blew my mind that a designer that considers himself like an artist fucking really just is comparing himself to louis and gucci like no disrespect to louis and gucci but they don't even look at you if you don't have 50k and you're fucking asshole like, you can't even walk into that store without getting patted down. Like, all that other shit, bro. Like, so you, if if you don't come from money or already have money, what the fuck are you talking about Louis and Gucci for? Like, just to keep it a buck. Like, like just to keep it a buck. Like, why the fuck are you comparing yourself to Louis and Gucci? Like, I, I just don't see the comparison here. And it just blew my fucking mind that, that artists really kind of... Almost were really ungrateful that Brennan was gonna like pay attention to all these people that wanted to like make art for his album and and show off their skills and maybe get a few followers, get a few retweets, get this, that, and the third. Like any real fucking artist jumps on that in an instant. It, and you're not a real artist once you start breaking down like money and all this other shit. And it's just like, bro, this is why I said at the beginning of this rant, this isn't for the people that had like. The girl who got scammed by Rich the Kid, like, that was, that was bullshit. That was bullshit. And fuck Rich the Kid for that. But, like, at the end of the day, though, that's not who this is for. That's not who I'm talking to right now. I'm talking to the people that literally, like, seem to be entitled to, like, this ultra treatment as if, like, designers have been victimized, like, their whole fucking, like, career and all this other, like, bro, let's keep it a buck, like, not every designer, but, like, no. This is a better comparison. When producers and shit uh, get their beats stolen or used without permission or anything like that, and they find it, they copyright it, they get it taken down, they get it organized, right? So, as a designer, why aren't you taking that same approach? Like, I'm just confused as, as to why... Like, they're just so prone to, like, bad business. Like, why the fuck they're letting everybody scam them? And when somebody wants to give, like, artists a platform and exposure, they're gonna go tell them, uh, fuck you, you're gonna scam us. Like, that's just such a fucking childish victim mentality. Like, that's like getting your heart broken and thinking everybody in the world is a piece of shit. That's not true. It's just simply not true. So when an artist says, yo, make fucking art for my album, I'll retweet you, I'll do this, I'll do that. They want to work and, 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 bro, you're talking exposure that you would not have on, like, the daily, right? And you're going to fucking scoff at that and, and, like, turn your nose at it and just kind of be like, yeah, fuck you, like, um, you know, I'd rather not take the chance type shit. That's fucking ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Because if you really give a fuck about art, art deserves to be seen and heard. Now, last week or the week before, 
I had this really good discussion about art being profitable and, and how you should go about selling your art and being a profitable creative. Well, this goes right in line with that as to where, like, you're not fucking doing anything genuine. Like, the, like half of these people that were in these comments or, or relating to this were all just new NFT Twitter made in t fucking April 2020 type weirdos. Like, bro... You you don't care about the underground. You don't care about creative integrity. You're literally whoring yourself out for a fucking check and calling it fucking art. Bro, you're a joke. Like, let's just keep it a buck. Like, that's a joke. And you shouldn't come at anybody, whether they have 100k, 200k, 20k. Bro, it doesn't fucking matter. Exposure's exposure. Like, it's, it's, it's a, a tit for tat type deal. It's a scratch my back, I'll scratch yours type deal. Like, don't fucking sit here and tell me that if you had a chance to play beats for a fucking artist and they're known for using beats without fucking permission, this, that, and the third. Don't tell me you wouldn't go and fucking play them and, and, and at least try to get the fucking song, bro. Like, bro, you're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Like, protect your art, bro. It's not fucking hard. It's not hard. Literally, people steal music and art more than anything. More than fucking anything. And the people that have, like, good control under their art are the ones that don't, like, worry about putting out free art. That don't worry about, put it, like, doing shit for free. is because they have their shit on lock. Like, all these designer weirdos, that's the shit I knew that they all had in common. Was that they're all used to, or, like, like just always fucked over. And, like, that's... I don't know who to blame for that. Because it's no different than music. Is it not? It's literally no different than music. If someone were to rip your music off the fucking internet and go upload it to stores, get it taken down. So a big artist uses your cover, this, that, and the third, just like with with uh, Rich the Kid. What the fuck happened? He got roasted. So don't try to fucking make weirdo-like accusations for people that literally just want to help you, bro. That was the weirdest shit I had ever saw today. Like, I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Like, like that was fucking weird. Like, and... The underground ain't the same anymore. <laughs> like, I, I really understood that today. After I watched, like, people come at someone like Brennan. Like, someone of his, like... Like, with his, like, reputation and resume, bro. Like, you never ever heard of that dude doing some funky shit. You never heard of that dude scamming. Never heard of that dude doing anything in the underground, bro. Dude's from fucking Staten Island and shit, bro. Like, dog, he's not gonna fucking scam you. I'm like, bro, somebody like Rich the Kid, somebody like this, that, that. Like, Rich the Kid, I'm using it as, as as an example because that's the first one that comes to mind. Because he damn near went viral for trying to scam a cover artist. Which is fine, as he should. He should get fucking roasted for that. But look, at the end of the day, like, you need to protect that ass. Like, straight up protect that ass. Like, and don't jump down people's throats. Because if you're protecting your shit, you wouldn't be so worried about Brennan Savage fucking doing good shit. They're just projecting their fucking PTSD of a fucking big artist stealing their fucking art. Which is ridiculous. Telling fucking all their little designer friends, all, all designers reading that, all designers everywhere, that fucking, yeah, don't do this. How fucked up is that? No, bro, don't try to gatekeep fucking all this other shit, bro. Like, you're an idiot. You're an idiot, bro. These people need it, bro. Like, some other guy was talking about how exposure isn't, like, a fucking payment and all this other shit. And you're a discount artist and all this other fucking hoopla, bro. The only thing I have to fucking say to that, bro, is if you don't have your fucking foot in the door already, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Because if you already have your fucking foot in the door, bro, why do you give a shit if somebody uses that to get their foot in the door? Oh, Brendan Savage shouted me out on his story. Uh, he really fucked with my art. Now I got like a thousand followers here and, and I got commissions here. And you're telling people, no, don't do that. You're an idiot. You're a genuine moron. And I don't think that's good. And if you're listening here on Music Mondays and you see a reputable artist in the underground, you know like that's a good person and you think oh damn i'd i'd really uh i'd really benefit from this do that you know what i mean 
And, like, it was really shit to kind of see, like, people... Uh, what's the word? Just kind of assume that that's how, like, shit was, you know? I was like, damn, that's actually really fucking shitty. Like, they just assumed that he was just gonna... <laughs> fuck everybody over, I guess. You know? So that, I did not enjoy. But, I mean, closing statement on that, like... Like, bro, look, at the end of the day, um, do what you want to do, but always protect your art. And if you think that there's a good opportunity in front of you that you think you won't ever get again, or you just won't think will come again, um, please take it. Please fucking take it. Okay? I just think, uh, I just think you shouldn't pass up opportunities like that, especially if, like, you're creative and, like, you want to show love to, like, the person, you know? Like, if like if you're an artist first and, like, you're just trying to, like, profit, well, that's fine, you know? It's just not, it's not for you. But it just seemed that all these people that were coming at Brennan today were really, like, it was just dollar signs in their face, you know? It, it was, it was all, it was all fucking about, about money. So I was like, wow. Like, it was almost like they, they were robots, you know? So, uh, he ended up deleting the tweet. He ended up, uh... He ended up just not even doing it. And he's not gonna have people make anything. Because the design world thinks that every single artist ever, um... Can't help them. And unless they're paying them, they can fuck off. Like, where the fuck to... Like, uh, it, it pisses me off, so I need to not talk about it. But... I just don't get where they get off getting that, like, elite victim mentality where, like, they've been fucked over so many times that they deserve a check, like, whether you're, like, Michael Jackson or you're fucking some random with 100 followers. <laughs> like, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. Some of the shit I was seeing today was crazy. So, um, in closing, just be genuine, man. Be fucking genuine with what you do. Not everything's about a fucking check. Not everything is about numbers. Not everything is about money. Money is not the only currency in this world. Ever. So, uh, do what you gotta do. Always protect your art. And that's about it, man. It's kind of disappointing to see that shit, but, you know. I, I, I already said my piece here, so... Um, hope everyone sort of understands where I'm coming from, and then, you know, if not, then... That's fine. But at the end of the day, um, got to be genuine, bro. So that's that on that. Um, if you have any questions or, or uh, want to expand on this topic, um, comment on YouTube or I can discuss it more next week or anything like that. But that's all I'm going to say on that because the subject really just kind of pisses me off at the end of the day. Because I know, like, 50 producers and artists that have been scammed out of beats and features and shit that, like, just don't have that victim mentality. It's like, it's like, it, it, it's like, like I said, it's like getting your heart broken and thinking everybody else in the world is like that. Like, it's just not how it is. It's just, it's just, it's just not. So, uh, keep doing you, man. Don't be scared to fucking go outside the box and do some shit that you haven't done just because, uh, somebody says, oh, don't do it. You know? But that's that on that. Yo, what's good, Encryption? I walked into some deep shit. You good? Of course I'm good. No, yeah, I was talking about uh, some weird uh, underground shit. But yeah, that's that on that. That is that. Like, and, and it, it kind of sounded like um, I just think of all designers the same or like think all designers are shit like i know like a lot of my friends are designers like and it, it's just not meant uh for everybody i'm not trying to blanket all them but at the same time um there is a select section that that doesn't partake in that buffoonery you know so it's really important 
Really important to keep that integrity, man. Don't let that fucking money bag show looking like Mr. Krabs or something. Fucking weird shit. Um, the next thing that, uh, we're going to be discussing is sort of on the lighter side. I just wanted to get that, uh, design topic out of the way because, you know, fuck that shit. Um, so the past few episodes of Music Mondays, I was talking about like my stream upgrade and how I'm waiting on certain parts and yada, yada, yada. Um, this is going to lead into the subject, so this is why I'm bringing this up. But, um... I have everything. I have my new mic. I have, uh... I have my game capture. I have everything. Um, I just literally haven't set it up yet because... Um... You gotta prioritize, like, your mental health, man. Like, and I'm not talking about, like, burnout shit. Right? I'm talking about, like... Just... You know, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling sad, or anything like that, um, you really gotta put yourself first, right? So, um, I really was planning on doing a lot of, <laughs> not even just, like, my stream upgrade, but a lot of other shit, and, um, it just didn't end up happening because life shit got in the way, and then, you know, speed bumps up and down, so I'm getting, um, shit done that needs to be done. And then, like, because, like, my stream upgrade is really something that, like, I gotta focus on. Like, I can't really, like, do it half ass and just kind of, like, you know, fucking slap it on, like, a coat of paint. Like, just, just not how it is. And you really gotta be motivated to do something like that. So, I guess really what I'm trying to say is motivation has been, like, at a pretty low. Like, not an all-time low or anything, but it's definitely been low. So, I wanted to talk a bit about, um prioritizing your mental health if you have a f like a full schedule or like you do a lot or anything like that um because for me like i'll just use myself as the example um like certain shit just like plagues my mind right and sometimes like it'll cripple me as to where like i literally have to force myself to um get back into my routine and start like you know cooking beats start doing social media shit start doing streaming shit like i really have to like push myself to start doing it and then i'm fine but like when you're in those slumps like it it, it gets real uh overwhelming i guess like for somebody like me so i'm really trying to like do everything that needs to get done and really not lack on every like everything you know what i mean like you can't really like let everything go and stay down for too long but um I guess over the, the like last few days, maybe the, like the last week or so, probably like six days. Um, I've just been trying to take it easy. Like even though I don't really know how to take a day off, like I'm always trying to do some shit at least once a day. But um, for the most part, I've been trying to take it easy, and um, all that shit's gonna come back, and and I can feel myself getting my energy back. As far as like mental like. And like emotional energy um sometimes it just gets drained right it's 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 like a battery or like sort of like a car you know um think of it like a certain amount of bandwidth or you know a certain amount of like internet you have um and sometimes that shit just gets drained bro and then you gotta wait for it to recharge and that's really what it is and um the other side of that coin is if you were to just like keep pushing through that and not give yourself like a day day or two week whatever you need um if you were to just fucking keep pushing through it like that's how you burn out like that's what leads to burnout that's what leads to like the things you love not being as fun that's what leads to like shit you normally would do being stale like that's what leads to that so don't push through bad times like don't push through like like you gotta feel that shit and take it take a second because if you don't and you just keep pushing through you're gonna end up um really bitter and and everything you like is just gonna be shit because you never uh address what was up 
you know, whatever it may be, any subject. So that sort of thing is really important, man. Like, like, and that's mental health uh, at its finest. So try not to push yourself, you know. Uh, if you need a break, take a break, and then um, pick yourself back up. Um, because it's a lot easier to uh, do what I said earlier, like kind of like get yourself out of a slump if you don't burn out, if you don't push through the bad in, instead of addressing, I guess, you know? So very important that um, you you do those sort of things, man. You just really have to. Um, but yeah, um, everything else is, is really getting back on track, so, um, this summer's about to be really busy, and I guess I just needed, like, sort of some time to, like, reflect and just kind of let myself collect some pieces and shit, and, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to update Music Mondays on that and sort of talk about, um, mental health in case anybody was sort of relating or had similar uh, issues with burnout or having like a busy schedule and just not wanting to do shit or you know because it's like like it, it it's hard being like a dream chaser or, or or like a busy worker and being unmotivated like that's like the worst feeling in the world you know so you kind of got to like address it and then you'll be back to sort of your regular form you know it's good But, um, yeah, I think, I think that's that on that. Um, always take care of your mental health, man. Um, you know, just everything, life shit, career shit. Um, life can be tough sometimes, so. And if you ever need anything, I'm always here. I'm a, I have a unfortunate <laughs> wide range of experience, so I can most likely relate or at least be uh the set of ears that listens because i think uh one thing people don't understand about mental health too is i wanted to address this is um most people really don't even need advice or like most advice is unwanted so like just kind of listen if you got a friend that's going through it you know and they're just like oh man i've told them the same thing over and over you know what i mean just listen you know just listen like you don't even gotta tell them nothing they don't need no advice nothing like that you know um because if, if if you've already told them like a couple times believe me they probably already know what they're doing wrong or like should be doing so if 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 somebody comes at you with like a rant or anything like that um always listen man just just kind of listen you don't really have to like um like sort of like look for a fix you know because because like somebody comes to you and says this and this and this and then oh i got a bunch of problems and then you you're looking for ways how they can solve all these problems right but with somebody who's going through it like psychologically and mentally like like their brain is like a roller coaster that's cloudy so to work with that and like help them you kind of just got to let them spit out a bunch of um a bunch of stuff really like you just gotta let them fucking hork it out man and um nine times out of ten it it really helps the person you know like just just kind of listen be like okay yeah all right yeah what else all right yeah yeah you know what i mean like hear them out so um yeah do that do that for sure and you know just look out for each other and be good like there's very few people that i really roast and like truly fucking spit hateful things at because you just you just never know what somebody's going through, you know, like even trolls or anything like that. Like, you just never fucking know, bro. So, um, just be good to most people until uh, they're a piece of shit to you, you know. Be good until uh, until somebody tests you, gangster, you know. Because it's a, it's it's a lot better to treat people really really nice up until uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Up, 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 up until they abuse you, and then, uh, then it's just time to fucking unload because then it's like, whoa, where did that come from? It's just like, yeah, like, and it's justified. Then you understand. So, 
And by that, I, I, I don't mean take a bunch of shit. I just mean, you know, spread a bunch of positivity until that one asshole comes along and says, fucking fuck you. <laughs> you know? Never take a bunch of shit. But I'm going off topic. Regardless, um, take care of your mental. Take a couple days off. Do what you need to do. Um, and yeah. Take care of your brain. Think of it as like a like a broken broken arm or a broken leg or some shit. Uh, those of you had of you know any broken bones or whatever you know you you know you you put it in a cast you let it heal and then you're like okay it's healed and then you start you know moving it around and it's the same process for your mental health so you know something traumatic happens really big or really small um, same process put it in a cast for a little bit take medicine do what you need to do and then slowly start uh, flexing a little bit you know flexing your mental muscles. Um, if you will. So, that's that on that. Um, take care of yourselves. I love all you guys. So, uh, we have music reviews. Good ones. Really good ones. Um, we'll start these in a minute. Let me just, uh, let me smoke for, for, um, for a sec and we're good. Haha, <laughs> I missed my first day of driver's ed. What the fuck, bananas? Why? I mean, driver's... Oh, yeah, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say driver's ed is some bullshit, but not for your fucking state. For your state, it's, like, damn near required. But why did... Why? Why? Why did you miss it, bro? Come on. Bad bananas. It wasn't on purpose, man. Why do I feel like that's cap? <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. It was just kind of not, not on purpose. <laughs> Cause poof, never seeing me again. Yeah, that's how it is up until you're like twenty. No cap. So you're about to enjoy it. You get your license when you're like 16, 17, 18. And then like a couple years go by and then you're like, oh, fuck this driving shit. But those first couple years, bomb. And like, I don't even have my license, but I've heard from way too many people. That's how it goes. Way too many people. So, let's get into these uh, reviews, and we'll uh, we'll get into it. Um, uh, my <laughs> my first submission was from our good motherfucking friends at uh, Human Resources, um, which, if you don't know, is uh, sort of a collective, a group, um, whatever you want to refer to them as. Um, they're alternative, they're electronic, and they're super fire. And they make uh, instrumentals, they have vocals, they have everything. Um, <clears throat> and this particular submission from Human Resources is called Momo. And uh, it's Momo Momo, like Momo twice, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, when I initially played this song, um, I let it kick in until about probably like 30 seconds or so. And then... Um, I've had probably like three or four submissions from Human Resources or uh, Heavy Metaphors, which is their producer, and um, this is easily the chillest vibe yet from them, for sure. Um, ambient melodies with great lo-fi drums. Um, I instantly pictured the chill study beat um, little uh, little YouTube channel there, um, so uh, shout out uh, Human Resources, man. They uh they always deliver with everything that they have and um I really enjoyed this. Um very chill track, very laid back, very you can put it on and do whatever the fuck you want to it because um it's just chill. And um definitely more ambient than anything I've ever heard from them, so uh chill vibe, uh takeaways. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for sure. Um I left a like, so 
This is uploaded on their YouTube, so if you would like, um, that'll be in the description if you want to check them out. Um, and also I'll drop it in the uh, Twitch chat as well. So uh, shout out Human Resources for this submission, man. Much love. Thank you, guys. So, let me drop that. Okay, that's Human Resources. Um, my next submission for uh, today was actually um, a repeat artist. He keeps sending me the same link. Uh, and I'm not going to put him on blast because that's just fucked up. But, um... Please don't do this to any blog or any uh, playlister or any curator or anything of that nature. Uh, don't do repeat submissions, um, especially not more than twice, you know? So I sort of had this discussion, I don't know if it was last week, but it was probably the week before, about uh, just blindly dropping links and DMs and under tweets and shit like that. Don't do that. It's not 2014 anymore. Um, just, just don't do that, man. And, like, all that, like, shows and tells me is that you're not looking at what you're doing. You're just kind of, like, you know, roboting it through, and you're just kind of, you know, um, dropping the same link down a whole fucking TL of, uh, the same submissions when you've already submitted to them or you've already, you know what I mean? So it makes you look like the young, I sort of like the unorganized one, I guess. So, um, the next submission I had was from, I believe, um, I'm not sure, uh, where this person is from, is from Italy. So we have, uh, Daniel Mastracci, and, uh, he sent me this super, super intriguing, um, pop banger, and it's titled Feeling You. And uh, it's on Spotify already. There's a radio version, and then uh, there is a long version. And the long version is actually almost six minutes, and uh, the radio version's, you know, four minutes cut even. But um, shout out Italy, man. Um, so this is Danielle. Um, let me drop that link for you. And then... Um, Okay, when I had uh, originally played this song, the first ten seconds, I, I, you know, I was, I was really fucking intrigued. Um, mainly because some of these submissions are are, are just they just sound so mainstream, and they sound, uh, what's the word, really professional. And um, Danielle was no exception to that. Um. He had linked it to me under the hashtag, um, uh, Melodical Deep House, or just Deep House, and, um, I guess that's what he would refer to it as, but this just gave me really great pop vibes, like, you could really genuinely hear this on a radio, you could hear this in a mall, you could hear this just blowing up for sure. I'm not sure how it does in Italy, but it definitely do good, um, in the western part of the globe um the mix is 10 out of 10 for sure um very bouncy produced really really well um i'd like to see more of this i'd like to see other submissions i'd like to see uh, just a lot more of this uh keep doing this keep doing this for sure uh feeling you is definitely a track that i can hear over and over again and one of those like retail songs that people get like ptsd from not in a bad way but um just sort of like it's that much of a hit you know so, uh, shout out Danielle for the submission, man. Um, 10 out of 10. Uh, takeaways, none. Mix is great. Everything's great. Um, of course, all artists will be linked in the description as well as Danielle. Uh, so, go check them out, man. Um, yeah. Thank you for the submission, my friend. Much love. Excellent. So... Um, Banana said, how about this, submit to me, Zom? Oh, how kinky, lol. This fucking guy, bro. Look how cracked he is. 
This guy's twisted chat. Okay. <laughs> so our uh, our third submission is definitely on the more uh, alternative side as well. Um, now, I'm not too sure if this individual is um, in a band or solo act or... Um, what's up i think i think they are a band though um so their name is uh mad wet c and and you know you have to wonder these days because you never really know because you know some people produce their own shit and sing and engineer and you know some people sound like a whole fucking orchestra and it's, and it's one person or some people you know so mad wet c is a band out of uh kingston ontario i believe uh canada of course um but it's definitely rock, uh, definitely alternative rock, definitely, definitely sort of on the heavier genre. Um, definitely heavier side of things, I I should say. But uh, Mad Wet C submitted uh, this song titled "Free," and um, when it first kicks on, it starts. It, it, it's it, it's it's a little light, you know you. You have like uh sort of like an alternative rock intro. But um that picks up into almost heavier vibes and um when the vocals drop, um I was sort of a little surprised because the instrumental was really, really well mixed and uh just sounded really great. And the vocals almost sounded like um how do I put this? The vocals almost sounded not like bad or anything like that. They just sounded unmixed. Is 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 like almost like I was hearing raw vocals on on this track here. So I was a bit thrown off by that, but um, nonetheless, I was really really impressed by the production. Um, so as the song goes on, it. it gets heavier and then you get to the chorus and um the chorus is is really really good sounds really well um the lyrics have a good message as well um this isn't for everyone um if if you're into rock or any type of rock i would highly suggest this for you um this is definitely the definitely on you know just the heavier side and more uh, alternative grimy ish kind of rock but uh, can get heavier from what I've heard in this song, Free. But um, like I said, the chorus is dope. Um, the lead into verses is really well. Um, I just I just really like the majority of this track. Um, my only takeaway is really uh, the vocals. Uh, I would like to see a better mix or um, just um, any improvements on your next track. That would be really great. But um, other than that, man, um, excellent, excellent. Um, check out Mad Wet C. Um, shout out to them for submitting. Uh, check out their song Free, and um, yeah, much love to uh, Mad Wet C. So, we have one last track, and uh, this next one. really caught me off guard and uh this next track really caught me off guard and uh really just kind of threw me back for a little bit because when i had started music mondays here's a little rant for you guys um when i had started music mondays i had sort of like not really had faith in the underground anymore to really like have undiscovered artists like they're really like far and few of them and um this wonderful person that submitted to me, um, they go by the name of Cheyenne, and, um, wow, holy shit, I just gotta talk about this, so, uh, Cheyenne submitted this song, uh, titled I Still Break, and she sent me, um, all the links for whatever platform, but of course I chose SoundCloud, um, stick true to the underground <laughs> roots, Kappa, but, um, yeah, so I heard this song, I Still Break, and I was truly mind-blown. Like, 
when I tell you guys mind blown, um, I read the description and um, one of the terms that I noticed she used was uh, pop ballad and the instrumental was great. Uh, the piano was fucking beautiful as soon as it kicks on. But when the vocals hit, I was really stunned. Like, like really, really stunned. This is one of the best voices I've ever heard in the underground from an unknown artist. Like, period. Like, since 2018 and the sort of tail end of 2017 when I've been looking at artists and talking to artists and going through submissions and curating playlists and helping carry playlists. This is easily one of the best voices I have ever heard heard um like i said this song is titled uh i still break and it's just fucking amazing like like i gotta i gotta keep it a buck with you guys this is something um you really should check out um so i'm gonna link this right now and uh, of course all artists will be linked in the description but um just to talk about this track for a little bit um it's peaceful but yet powerful okay so the piano really makes it peaceful, sort of like really, it's like not too sad, but it's sort of on the emotional side is, is the best way I could put it. Um, but like I said, when the vocals kick in, you're like, whoa. And it, it really blew my, it, it just blew my fucking mind. And um, the piano is just mixed extremely well with the vocals. Um, the mix and whoever did the engineering on this track uh did an amazing job this is 10 out of 10 from me um i really really enjoyed this um the lyrics are extremely powerful and really almost brought your boy to tears like like i just gotta be completely honest with you like this song really just kind of caught me off guard and i was like whoa and just getting immersed in the lyrics and really catching a vibe from this you know like like really catching a vibe and i was like holy shit um so they're extremely talented shout out cheyenne man um i can't wait to hear more i can't wait to hear way more um this is truly truly wonderful and uh keep doing what you're doing um don't let nobody tell you that you're not shit don't let nobody tell you nothing because this song is proof that you have the pure talent to do what you want to do so um make sure you check out cheyenne um she'll be linked in the description as well um, along with everybody else. Um, shout out her for the submission. Much love. Thank you. Um, thank you to every artist as well. You guys are amazing. Um, this is truly one of my favorite uh, reviews. Because every song was really special. And um, I really enjoyed this. So shout out every artist that uh, submitted tonight. And um, this rebroadcast will be uploaded on Friday. So if you're watching this or wondering when it's going to be uploaded or curious as to when any rebroadcasts are uploaded, it'll be the following Friday after the Monday. So uh, about four days from now. But um, thank you guys again. Wow, chat. Uh, that was fucking crazy. I still get a little bit of like woe from, from that uh, I Still Break song. I really really fucking enjoy that song really do um but yeah closing uh closing discussions and questions um feel free to shoot them at me let me know because we can wrap it up i got about 10 more minutes here on music mondays so um if you guys uh if you guys need uh need anything or have any questions do let me know or after in the rebroadcast um drop drop comments in the in the youtube chat if you have any questions or have anything that uh you would like me to speak on as well um yeah really really good show today to be completely honest with you um music mondays is is really grown so much and it, and, and it's going to keep growing um Especially with like my stream upgrades and um, I have an announcement tomorrow at 3 p.m. with Music Mondays. There's just a lot of shit, man. So it's going to be nice. It's going to be really nice. Really looking forward to it. And uh, you guys got a, a lot of cool stuff coming as well. What the fuck? It's saying my G Fuel delivery, but that shit ain't here. Bruh. Really?
track the package. <laughs> but alright, chat. Um, that's it from me in Music Mondays. Um, I'm going to go live with zombies right after this. So uh, give me not even a minute and uh, I'm going live again. But um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the submissions. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for pretty much everything, man. Um, you guys are really, really uh, amazing with all your support for Music Mondays. And um, submissions will be open again tomorrow for next week, which is the... May 3rd, we're in a new month. First May Music Mondays is going to be lit. So uh, submissions open back up tomorrow. Be on the lookout for the new tweet um, at All Music Mondays for uh, all our social medias and everything. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to episode 14. Rebroadcast available Friday. Um, and be safe. Thank you. Later, later. <laughs>